Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. This is Anko Share from Alif Consulting. Welcome in our Microsoft Purview for Office 365 or M365 videos. In this specific video, we will be going to talk about all the auditing solutions which are available in Microsoft Purview for Office 365. Well, here is the agenda of our this uh, video. So we're going to have a basic understanding about the auditing feature and then we're going to talk about the audit, audit standard and the audit premium. What are the license requirement we have and how we can set up an audit standard and the premium into the Microsoft Purview portal. And at the end, we're going to have a demo where I'm going to walk you through with the audit feature in Microsoft Purview portal. All right, so let's quickly jump into the introduction. So Microsoft Purview auditing solution provide an integrated solution to help organizations effectively respond to the security event, forensic investigations and internal investigation and the compliance obligations. Thousands of users and admin operates, operator operations performed into versions of Microsoft M365 services and the solutions are captured, recorded and retained in your organization's unified audit log. Audit logs for these events are searchable by security ops, IT admins, insider risk teams, compliance and the legal investigators in your organization. This capability provides the visibility into the activities performed across your M365 organization. Right? So audit has become a very important part. So let's take an example. If someone have ex someone someone have deleted uh, mailboxes or someone have did something wrong intentionally now you want to find it out who did it right if you don't have an audit loss you would not be able to find it right so that's where your auditing solution come in place or your audit logs can come in place but if those audit you or, or if, the, if the, that event is something happen uh, like a four four weeks ago or three weeks ago right so m365 services generate tons of logs for all the operation which a user or an admin is doing it right but searching that specific event in those thousands of events is going to be a little challenge not a little challenge i can say it's a difficult task right so that's where the auditing solution come in picture which can be used to filter it or do the filtering on the all the audit logs and can help you to find out the specific log for your investigations or for your compliance right or for your insider risk team IT team or security or ops team right so that's something can done by using the auditing solutions now we do have a two types of uh, auditing solutions available with Microsoft Purview for M365 or Office 365 one is called the audit standard and second one called is the audit premium now let's talk about the audit standard right so Microsoft Purview audit standard provide us provide us the ability to search uh, ability to log and search for the audit activities and power your forensic IT compliance and the legal investigations so what kind of things it done it's enabled by default the standard uh, thousands of searchable audit events so you can search thousands of or wide range of activity that occur in most of the m365 services in your organization you can search all of them audit search tool in Microsoft uh, Purview compliance so this specific tool with the standard one would be available only in the compliance portal or Purview compliance portal from there you can go ahead and search your all the activities or audit logs directly from the uh, from the Purview portal search unified audit log command it which allows you to do the PowerShell command to find out the event logs export audit rec records to the CSVs that something is very important because that allows you to export all the events or audit reports directly to the csp from the compliance portal and from there you can further do your analysis on top of that csp file or the excel file access to the audit log via m3 m via office 365 management activity apis this is a third method to accessing or reviewing the audit record to is to use the office 365 management api this let organization to retain audit data for longer period than default 90 days and let them import in their audit 
uh, data into the same solution that's something you can do and 90 days log, log retention is something which is there with the audit standard which means all the data or all the log, log data will be available for the 90 days retention and after that will be automatically get deleted so these are all the functions which are available for audit standard with the audit premium you get a certain uh, add-on capability it's built in on the audit standards so all the audit standard feature which is there in our previous slide would be going to remain same however we're going to get at uh, some additional feature with this audit premium capability so the features are audit log retention policy that's something we can modify we can change the audit re log retention policies for up to 10 years for users with a required add-on licenses on your for your office users longer retention for the audit record so we can go longer uh, uh, retention this this is something which is by default get changed to the night one year for exchange sharepoint and azure active directory and for the other active active other active active other activities like any other a part of exchange sharepoint or azure ready other logs will be get retained only for the 90 days by default or you can use the audit log retention policy to configure the longer retention period right third high value audit uh calculate uh audit uh, premium event that's something you can do so audit record for the uh critical events can help organization to conduct the financing and compliance investigations so it's something which you can do it allows you to do uh, or need to search or anything investigation or anything events need to be done that something is there higher bandwidth to the office 365 management api this is something uh, is is very important because there is a restriction so audit premium provides organization with the higher bandwidth to access the audit log through office 365 management activity api throughout all the organizations are initially allocated on a baseline of 200 requests per minute this limit will uh, will dynamically increase depend on your organization seat count and their licenses subscription the result in organization with uh, added premium getting about twice bandwidth as an organization with audit standard so these are the some of the advantage or new capabilities which you are getting with the audit premium from which is specifically built on the audit standard so all the audit standard capability is there plus you're getting a new capabilities which is this which is here on this slide now what are the license requirement right this is a very important part to use the audit standard you have a different licensing requirement to use the audit premium you have a different license requirement so if you go with the standard you have a business basic standard subscription you have a m365 apps for business you have a e3 licenses you have a business premium you have education a3 right or you have an enterprise e1 e3 or you have education a1 or a3 but if you need to have a premium you need to have a e5 licenses you need to have a e3 licenses with additional uh, uh, compliance add-on or rediscover your audit add-on right so these are the some of the license requirement which is there to use the audit standard or the premium feature now to set up the audit standard it's a sprint, pretty much straightforward you can verify your organization has a subscription that support the audit standard or uh, premium assign the permission in the exchange online to the people in your organization who can use the audit search log right and then from there uh, after searching the audit log after completing the first step or second step user in your organization can use the audit log search tool to do the search or audit the activities now the other one is to is to set up the audit premium right so this is again you need to make sure your organization have a valid subscription to that support the audit premium uh, perform the following step like set up the audit premium uh, for user verify the user are assigned the required licenses or uh, tuning audit premium app services plan must be for those user enabling the auditing for the critical events and then auditing and tuning on the uh, audit pre app services and service plan for those users enable the audit premium and then set up the logs retention policies for your all the data all the all the other other uh, uh, logs which is coming from the exchange your point assure ready right and search the critical audit events and other activity which conducting the forensic investigation after the first and second step is completed so these are the some of the things or these are the steps which you can use to set up the audit standard or the audit 
premium now let's quickly jump into the demo so in the demo uh, I am already there so to do the uh, uh, this thing right the audit thing you have a options right so this is the option where you can run your audit right so in case of if you want to see or if you want to see your records everything would be available here right so if you want to create a new search you can search for uh, the activities you can search for the users let's take an example I want to search for uh, myself I can search or I can search right so I just need to click on search and it's going to give me all the uh, all the uh, search which is there and from there it's currently in queue however all the records which is available would be here and from here I can go ahead and download the events and I can see what exactly is happening so this is the one of the way right to do the auditing another way of doing the classic search this is the older one uh, and you can search uh, so you do have a plenty option choose which activity you want to search or then you can search uh, for the user like who did what or if you can just search for site or if you want to search for folder that's something you can type here and then we have a audit retention policy which is the part of the audit uh, one so here I can specify the policy name I can specify the uh, description I can specify the user or record where you want to apply what is the record type is like what is the record type every records are available here you can select the specific record you can specify the retention you can specify the priority number and then you can click on save so as, as I told you it's uh, for the premium one it can go up to 10 years so that's 10 year options for the uh, for the retention policies available here and from here you can apply that on the specific user or the specific data Right. So as soon as you go back and come back on your uh, job or your search, you will see it's currently in progress. If you click on this shop, you would be able to see all the records or count which are available here. So as of now, it's showing nothing because uh, the uh, the audit search is uh, 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 as of now currently in progress. It's just 0% has been happened. However, if you want to cancel it, you can go ahead and cancel it out and let me go ahead and create a new one for uh, last uh, one hour and search for it. Right, so it's, it's going to queue again. Uh, I just have searches for uh, two hours of data. It allows me to download the data. However, if you want to specify what kind of search you are looking into it, you do have an option to do that what kind of workload you are looking into it that's something you can have you do have an option to search for keywords you do have option to give it the name folder or user that's something you can do as well right so as of now this is in a queue so it's going to take a time however from here you can search your all the audits right you can search uh, like uh, event logs and everything here right so in a legacy one uh, this is the auditing option which was there so you can run your reports everything you can run into the legacy one although legacy one is not longer is going to be available going forward however legacy ones do have this auditing feature which is already into the exchange admin center however with new one this auditing feature has been moved to the microsoft purview portal right so from here you would be able to see all of your jobs you will be able to see all of your progress everything would be available here right now if you come back to your uh, newer admin center you don't have any options like this you don't have any options for compliance or anything because that's options is completely move into the Microsoft Preview portal right so to get this job completed you need to give us some time and then only you would be able to see what is there or what kind of data is available here so as of now you can see there is a two uh, activity which is available uh, with this new report so you can see what exactly this activity is so nothing uh, much it just have provisioned uh, the new mailbox and the name of new mailbox is this is a new parameter this is a new organization which has been set up right so that's that's, that's there, there must be some new mailboxes I'm not exactly able to get which new mailboxes has been provisioned but it's giving you the 
the detail right it's giving you the whole audit search logs uh, for your search which you have run right so you would be able to get a more information if you go inside this one you would be able to get more information here also well that's it in this demo i hope you like this video if you like please click on like and subscribe for more upcoming videos and feel free to reach us if you have any questions thank you